Jacob, would you get the uh, Christian flag? As someone stand here in the middle with the Bible flag. Remember all the See, we, we've got to get it back in the groove of things. You know, we get two years and even Mr. Director has to kind of get things rolling. Right! 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 right. I can't hear you! Right! Sounds bad. Let's do our pledge to our American flag. Attention, salute, and pledge. I pledge
give yourselves a good round of applause. All right, we're going to go ahead and go over the Y'all were up here. <laughs> <laughs> now, 
Now, you special ed folks, and listen, I am thankful. Uh, I do get told that uh, there's not many Bible schools where there's an adult class. We've always had an adult class, and we thank the Lord for that. And uh, we appreciate the teacher that the Lord has supplied us with, yeah. Dakota West. <laughs> and we appreciate Dakota, so we're going we're gonna to turn everything over to Dakota. Have y'all ever ate cured him and wonder what it was sick from that it had to get cured? <laughs>
Tire your knee. Do it right there. Stay right in line too. Take your time. Take your time. Okay, you got one. I mean, you got one. Okay, go over here. No, you got one more. Yep, take your time. You got it. All right, where are we going? Hand over with her. You got some time. You in this room? that ends up pulling dogs from us and then sends them off to other places and other states. We try to make sure. Dogs, I've got the animals go. Go. <laughs> <laughs> I think 
I have been bitten a few times, more by cats. Though. Yeah, usually not dogs. You go ahead. Who is this? Yes, I have. I actually pulled a snake out wow. one time from a yeah. rat trap. What's the question? Which is better, cats or dogs? They're all good. They're all good. I'm a dog person, but they're all good. I'm, I'm an animal. Y'all listen to the question? Black mamba? Yeah. Not the first? Not here. Have you saw a king cobra? I have not seen king cobra around here. They're not native. Have you ever
they worked hard. We know that our teachers and the workers here at Bob School have worked diligently hard as well. And Lord, we thank you for the good weather that you gave us all week long. And as the girls and boys played outside, that, uh, Lord, we just thank you. You just blessed us in so many ways. And we thank you. We pray that you be with our uh, boys and girls tonight as they sing and bring this program to their parents tonight, Lord. May it be a blessing to them, Lord, as they watch and behold their children, uh, Lord, declaring the precious gospel of uh, in story and music for them. For all this we pray and we ask in Jesus' name and our parents say, Amen. 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 At this time we're going to uh, let the class, the PBS class of 2022 enter our session. <laughs> So welcome, Jacob Reynolds. <laughs> Boys and girls, this whole week we have talked about God's mercy. I'm so glad that he has mercy when we make mistakes, don't you? Because Mr. Director has already made a big mistake tonight. Do you know what the big mistake is that I made? Forgot the pledges. Parents are going to ask you to stand together with us. Boys and girls, let's stand at attention. Face the American flag. Salute. And pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Let's do our pledge to the Christian flag. Everybody face the Christian flag. Attention. 
salute and pledge. I pledge allegiance to the Christian flag and to the Savior whose kingdom is saints. One Savior, crucified, risen, and coming again with life and liberty for all who believe. Attention, salute, and pledge.
can't say that we appreciate the teacher uh, in that class, uh, which is Crystal uh, Dixon. And then we have another Crystal that is assistant, Crystal Greer. And we'll let them uh, take a little time and talk about their class and their problems. The good thing is they don't have to learn one name. It makes it a lot easier. Um, even though we were small this year, the first thing I said the first night when I seen me land with your kids, I said, somebody better be having some babies. <laughs> I've already been talking to some of you about getting married and having some babies, so let's hope that over the next year or two we can gain some babies up in here. Um, but, you know, even though we were small, we, uh, we had a really good time. And, you know, every year I say this, but, you know, these guys simply amaze me. You know, they're the youngest ones here. But, you know, like with our story with Jonah, you know, first night we were talking about how, you know, God asked Jonah to go to Nineveh. And you, know, you think these kids aren't really going to learn that. And, and as soon as I asked, I was like, where did, where did God tell Jonah to go? They were like, Nineveh. I was like, well, where did he go instead? Tarshish. I mean, they just they remember everything. They soak it in. So I appreciate parents who let them come every night because both of them were here every single night. Um, but we have... Um, Jalen Meadows, and we have uh, Carrie Gentry, and I love them so much, and I'm going to miss them, but you guys are going to come see me, right? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> but but um, I do appreciate them, and I appreciate Crystal. She uh, came every night and helped me, and um, she's been with me for how many years? 2011. We've been doing this together, so um, I love her. I couldn't do it without her. Hi, I'm Jill Eddy, and the assistant to that class, uh, Paula. Paula. I mean, Sandy. You're, you're, you're next up. I'll just keep making up the studies. Hey, Paula. Paula. amazing with this, you know, they're going into kindergarten, coming right out of kindergarten about how much that they that they remember and we've done lots of little games and activities with them and they were just they were a pleasure to have and really made my job easy, honestly. And um, there were things that we would do on, you know, one night and then they'd be like, can we do that again t tonight? And so we I think about every night except for tonight we looked for Jonah in the room and we took turns filing and hiding him. But uh We've had a really good week, too. Uh, their certificates will be downstairs. Um, I want to thank Sandy. I couldn't have done it this week without her. I've had a, myself a really busy week, and she is the blessing to me to have and help us through the week. So, But we have Mr. Colton Greer. Okay. And this one's been my sidekick all week. Real kind of stuck to me. But uh, this is Mr. Caleb Meadows. And last but not least, we have Mr. Jackson Hill. Primary class, and this year the teacher was Edith Reynolds, and Sandy Hill also helped in that class. <laughs> 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 We'd like them to have had a really good week. We only had two. Uh, Mr. Christopher here, he, he was present every night and was a pure joy to have. And then we've got uh, little uh, 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 Chloe. I don't know why I went blank on her because I know her name well. But she was here three nights and they had all girls, all boys, and we split it up. We had a girl and a boy. And like they, the other places said, they just learned so good. And uh, I think the thing that challenged them most, we wanted to learn one central verse we have a different Bible verse every night, but we had one simple verse about God's mercy and 
and I had a board that I could put the each word on, and then I'd take words out, and they would they would fill it in when they repeated, and I would put it back up and put it up wrong, and Mr. Christopher here he'd say he'd shake his head and he'd say that ain't right, <laughs> <laughs> and it, he was just so good. They answered all the questions and did good. I think uh, fishing was the favorite. Uh, activity they did, but uh, we had a busy week with both of them, but we we really enjoyed it. Now I, I pray that uh, they've taken something, they'll take something uh, home with them and, and how to be good and obey. Isn't that what we learned about? Obeying. And uh, so, <laughs> and, but they learned also if, if they mess up and don't obey, they can be forgiven. They ask for forgiveness, and then they can do better. So, uh, Christopher, he he was here every night. Chloe McNew, and I'd like to say I appreciate Paula. She's been a great help this week, and I, uh, I'm a little older, so I, I get to where I sort of forget things, and she'll plug in, and that really helps me, but I've enjoyed working with Paula this week. Our member class, the teacher this year was Sharon Felty, and also Ken Fry was the assistant, and they took on board another assistant, Emily Schramm. I just want to say, this has been such a fun week for me. I love Bible school, love Bible school, and I'm so thankful that we were able to have it this year. After two years of not having it, I was excited to get back into it. And we've had a super class. We had 10 in our class total. Uh, the most we had on one given night was nine. And I was so excited because it's just exhilarating when you have that many kids that are excited to learn about Jesus. And uh, they've been such a blessing to me. I hope I've been half a blessing to them as they have to me. We've done all kinds of activities this week. We've uh, had lots of good lessons on Jonah and about God's mercy. And um, I just want to say thank you so much for allowing them to come and bless our church this week. Now, I've had, I had five that had perfect attendance. Yeah. And I'm going to call our names out, and I want you all to go down to the front my hand. They are Dakota Greer.
So I really enjoyed them. Uh, we have a really big class, but we have a lot of fun. And uh, like Herman said, I could not have done this without my assistant, Kathy. She's, she's an old pro at this. She's done this years and years and years before me. But uh, she's not able to be here tonight. So she was a lot of help. So we had Jacob with us. Caitlin Armstrong, Brandon uh, Greer, so they were here every night. And then I had Billy Caitlin, she was here um, three, three nights. And then what she did. Special Ed has to stand there for a while. <coughs> we call him Special Ed because Eddie, teacher, last time. Yes. And then Ed tested me. And his power went out to my ear. Just an Eddie, too. I'm the full guy right here. Girl with the blonde hair. Yeah. 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 And like uh, and, and like Herman said, I had uh, had a great uh, assistant teacher helping me out. Who's an old pro at this too, just like Kathy is the Tabitha and Testament, and he uh, he's a storyteller. Uh, you know, we had class and we go through the scriptures, and and uh, we fed off of each other really great this week. Me and him did. I really wish he had, he had been here, um, but I think the kids had a blast. We. Uh, we didn't do much in the way of crafts and whatever like all these other people do. We really just got into the Word and that fellowship and I think they really enjoyed it. They enjoyed being able to ask the rare, rare on a rare occasion they would have, maybe ask a question when uh, when I could get them to talk. That, that, <laughs> they're a quiet bunch. But uh, we had either four or five every night and the night. We broke the bank of six. So we finally broke that five threshold tonight with Savannah Love. Olivia Gentry, she had perfect attendance in the sense that the only night she wasn't here, she was at her church. Jonathan Greer, perfect attendance in the sense that the only night he wasn't here, he was at a funeral. Thank you. Uh, Mackenzie McNew, same situation there, perfect attendance in the sense that the only night she wasn't here, she was at church service. Any barber made the first couple nights. She had something going on the rest of the week. She can't be with us tonight. Isaac Eddie was here every night. And Carrington Baxter was here every night. You guys were great. I absolutely love this. I gave them out earlier, but not in front of everybody. And everybody else got the opportunity to thank their assistant. I want to thank Randy for being my assistant this week and, and him stepping in tonight while I couldn't be here to, to teach getting here late. He's always such a blessing. He's a blessing as an assistant. He's a blessing in our church. And he's one of a kind. Randy, you feel that right? I also got permission from Mr. Director to put in a plug, to put in a plug uh, for a program that I run I, last year started a, a, a Christian wrestling club in Marion, and I want to invite all of the students, K through 7th grade at our church, parents you're listening to me too, into my wrestling club, you can join. It'll be about mid-August before we have a parent meeting. The name of the club, so that you can get the information, and it'll also be sent out in local schools, the name of the club is Divinity Wrestling Club. You can look it up on Facebook. We have a Facebook page. If you want to look that up later when you get home, Divinity Wrestling Club, you'll like it, you follow it, and you'll see the uh, announcements made there. I invite all of you to be a part of that. It is a Christian-run wrestling club.
you are welcome, sir. You have a good one. Our queen could not be with us tonight. Uh, Annie Walker was our queen.